Decision making good. Comms good. Gunfights meh. <laughs> Holy sh. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. I literally said, I'll see you in Diamond. And this is Diamond now. <laughs> I told you, man. No fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We rush. We don't have a counter. Oh, wait. I got caught. Wait. I got caught. Red Bolton's down. World G gap. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. McDonald's. One McDonald's. One McDonald's. One McDonald's. One McDonald's. Reach tunnel. Reach tunnel. Two McDonald's. Oh. One tunnel. Two more. Two more. Two more McDonald's. Play around my ult. Play around my ult. Okay, yeah, ball. One back side. Jump up. Jump up. Yeah, they can't scale your ult. Even though your teammates are all dying. Good chilling. Nice. Damn, this guy's hitting put shots. Put Where'd this come from? Where'd this come from? <laughs> goat. What I'm talking about? Beast. Beast. Oh my god, look at the mouse control. Okay, Roll G. I'm about to do something that you've never seen before on this stream. We're gonna, I'm gonna VOD review your aim labs real quick before we play. Because this looks good. You're practicing, but there's something I want to show you. This is VT3T wide. I'm going to play this scenario right now. That's right. I'm going to aim train because I notice one big problem. Uh, this is pretty common when people get to like this intermediate phase of aim. And we're trying to get up to like advanced now. So the problem that I'm seeing with your VOD is the speed at which you leave a target. Okay. Let me show you your gameplay again. Show you again. Watch the target breaks there. One, two, three, four, five. And there's this delay, this big delay. Now I'm going to play it and just, I'm not going to like super sweat or anything. Okay. But watch when I leave the target. All right. I I'm asleep, as you can see. I'm not warm at all, not awake, but I, I get like a 1200. I don't know if that's any good, but I'm sure it's better than what you're scoring. Yeah, it is by a lot. And um, is this like, you're not pushing the speed in every um, aspect. Mr. Aimco, sir, is this a task where you bro? Pen flash, why, why do I have to tell my own mod to read the doc? Why? What's up with that? You have read the doc? Bet. Maintain 91% accuracy minimum. I'm just typing pen flash out. That's your quick VOD review. And so what you're doing is you're, you're basically like kill confirming. And if I had to guess, let me find a whiff. It's possible that when you whiff, you don't move to the next target right away. Yup. You see how you just shot two bullets at that target? When you whiff, the moment you click, you have to already have your next target in mind. It's tough. It's tough. But that, that's what I would focus on if I were you. Viper Breeze. Oh, bet. Bet. Yeah, this is getting so expensive. You, you, you have you noticed? Off your I, you. I don't hear anything, amen. No, B. Okay, I wouldn't rotate through mid, and I'm going to try to explain. So, on Breeze, it's pretty uncommon for, like, a full 5-stack. Um, I would I would wager that Chamber, or Reyna, or Iso, or maybe even Jet, is lurking mid on a B-hit. It's v super common on this map. And the problem is, we have a Classic Pistol, and so we're losing pretty much any engagement we take mid at range. You feel? Um, so, at the least, I'd expect you to put Wall up and do something tricky like get into this corner but even then i'm not too happy with it smokes up smokes up i think no one mid no one mid hey, Viper, we can yeah, B, B, B. Oh, it's lit 70 no, wait 70 yeah, we're joining we're joining jets out default right now oh crap my bad my bad my bad uh two on site i think both okay. jet definitely on. Wait, 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 i didn't see breach but i think he is, is yeah they're on site on site i'm almost i'm almost yeah, I'm with you. Planting. Okay, need out. Left side and default. Back pillar and left side. Alright. Falling left side now. 
Oh, go both of them. Nice. Back to right side. Who's back side? Back side. Oh my god, you're fucking timing warrior. Got that ghost. Oh, no, that's right. Ooh, I hit him so good for it. That's so sad. <laughs> Alright, I fuck with the attempt. I think we're a bit slow to grab this ghost. And I also think here I would have really prioritized getting wider on the left because we have this timing. This jet accidentally saw you. And so we could have easily gotten behind her and killed her. Um, I'm also down. If you know she's half wall at this point, it's not even bad for you to turn around and get on this bomb because look at it. It's not planted for her. And so even just like tapping can be huge, but I would probably get half uh, because she's giving it to us. She thinks we're in the smoke. She's way over there trying to hold the smoke. She's got the wrong read. Builder's choice. Walking at her is good too. Like you don't want to tap. You don't want to tell her you're out. That's fine too. Uh, but I, I would have gotten wider then. Anyways, let's talk about rotation because I was talking about how I wouldn't go through mid. Have you seen the breeze guide? Just so I know what to, to show and what not to show. Yeah, I have. Don't think I used any of the linos did it from it in the VOD. Well, then you haven't seen the breeze guide as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> if you're not using any of the tech in it, then you haven't really seen the guide because what's the point, right? And that My tech is exactly why I'm not rotating mid this round when I'm playing A. So we'll have whatever wall you threw. It doesn't matter. Okay. Do it like this. So at this point, you hear nothing and you start rotating. I'm going to rotate this way. I already explained why I don't want to fight mid because of um, my classic pistol and whatnot. But if it becomes B retake, like before I come out here, I'm going to use like the Zamali on my retake so I can come out because this Molly is like super oppressive. The enemy team to deal with on the retake. For those who uh, don't know, the Molly lands like here. It can feel kind of uncomfortable at first because it feels like there's angle, 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 all these angles to worry about. But once you get the feel for it on these B retakes, it's very rare that somebody is going to be playing like here. You'll learn what the common like fights are. And essentially, when I come out with that Molly, I'm going to look for this fight, but it's very uncommon. This fight is going to be actually super common. Somebody who got mollied and ended up coming wide. This happens a lot. And then I'm going to scale out in this very uncomfortable way towards a uh, backside like this. I clear this angle and then I just uh, come around this way. And I fight on site from here. When my Molly expires, I'll walk like backside. And what this can do, especially there. we happen to have the Rays who's flanking, is we just have to make sure that presence is established from one of us and then the other one is taking fights. Playing together is not bad, but I don't I don't like the fact that we had to rotate through mid and we don't really have a way to use our Molly. We end up just throwing our Molly here. And it doesn't really do anything here. Because notice they can just be standing right here. Son? Our Ray's missed her oh, nade. Wait, they ran through yeah, it. Yo, uh, I did 141. Uh, they ran eight. through her nade and she didn't even kill that chamber. guy. All right. All right. Let's talk about it. Because I don't like your play. I don't like your play. I don't like your play. If you're gold one, I'd be giving you a pat on the head. And I'd be giving you a cookie. And I'd be saying, wow, Rolgy, you're underrated. You're the goat. But you're diamond one. And now I'm fucking mad, Rolgy. You know why I'm mad? I want you throwing the wall for a bait and an orb here. You're going to orb up when they're coming out. You're going to tell your buddy to fight them. Here. And you're going to come out this way and kill the rest. And Boys you know why this play is so good? This game in particular. Not Sova. Not Sova. Not Sova. Not Sova. And not Sova. Wow, their team is full of not Sova. Um, let's, let's see. No drone. No dog. No dog. No drone. No drone. Huh. No, no recon. No recon. No recon. No recon. And no recon. Oh, now what else can screw up this play? Well, I mean, if their Viper walls up and cuts your raise it, wait, well, they don't got one of those either. Okay. And now I'm not happy because you're calling a play that the enemy team has picked a crazy suboptimal comp, which can lead to more dynamic play from us. There were, we have a lot more options here than we went for. I don't like that you bought light armor, by the way, with classic. Like, if we're being real, two mollies are going to provide way more value than light armor. If we're just trying to spend 400 credits this round, they come out. We molly here as Raze makes contact. There's a million ways we can play this, trying to exploit their lack of smokes, lack of recon. But we just, um, I want you to see, like, their lack of recon causes this to happen. This guy runs out. But what's up with, like, where's our wall? Back derby, man. 
Is that Maybe orb good? Nah, this is a lucky kill, dude. This is a lucky kill. What are we doing playing here with this shitty ass orb? And why do we have our gun out? You want to throw an orb beam in and you're playing in this area? You come into this corner and you aim in the middle of this leaf mass. It's very forgiving. It's just, you see all these leaves hanging from those bricks? Just aim in the middle and just left click. Easy orb. Not even a problem. Anyways, when you're playing Viper on B uh, against a team that likes to rush because they have all these duelists and a breach, I'm almost always starting the round with my molly. And you've probably faced this on attack where you've pushed into a Viper who mollies this shit like super quickly, which is which is annoying to deal with on attack. So you're playing alone on B. You got 2A, 2 mid. I would just be playing molly out. And I'm down for you playing over here. But you hear them rushing and I'm just orb upping and mollying. And when you get stunned, you have to like come over here somewhere close, not not out here where you're taking this longer range fight. You get lucky because we're playing against noobs, basically. Like I would already be dropping back site. And for this position that you're in, I'd be dropping down here. You can crouch at this box. They won't see you. How do we how do we classify this mistake? It's very simple. You don't have a plan. You don't have a concrete plan for what you're going to do if you get five man rushed. That's what you need to have, especially against duelist, duelist, duelist breach. You feel you don't have a concrete plan for what you're going to do against a rush, which is even less excusable when you're facing a team that is basically forced to rush. You're too far forward, I would say. Like, I don't think I'd ever be playing this spot against this comp. Now, I'm sure you've seen pro players play this spot all the time. But newsflash, pro players, when they play solo queue Breeze, are rarely facing Reyna, Chet, Iso, Breeze, Chamber. They're almost never facing a comp that looks like this. We have to be more dynamic, dude. This comp opens up options. Playing half wall isn't even bad now. You know why? They don't have wall. They have no smokes. So playing over here, off your orb and molly, is suddenly really good. Because they can't smoke this off. So now you have this great angle. On anybody coming out, look how nice this is, especially because they're on eco or bonus. You're, you're gonna shit on some kids from over here. I don't hear anything. Yeah. All right, all right. You watch Nats, as you just said. What does Nats do right now? I'm gonna quiz you before I watch this round. We're both gonna agree on what Nats would likely do, and then we're gonna see what you actually do in the moment because I already have a read on what you're gonna do, and I don't think it's gonna be what you're about to say you think Nats would do. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Guess this takes space B main. Just a guess. Your guess is not wrong. In fact, I think Nats would take this space way faster than you're comfortable taking it against this team. Notice Chamber is not ulted. Fascinating. So he's probably not mid lurking. They haven't lurked at all this game. In fact, they've only rushed. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he would clear this close angle. He'd clear elbow a little bit and he would knife out. It would look kind of like this. Keep going like this. Clear window. Come across. Probably clear like this if we haven't collected info. And he would be out like this. And then it would depend on what this hold is looking like, on whether or not he would push out more or contain. Let's watch what you do. Let's see. I knew it. I, I literally knew it. This is why I paused before before I saw what you did, because I want Chat to understand that I, I knew he was going to not flank. And uh, it would look like hindsight if I paused at this point and said, oh, you should flank. There has to be a reason that Royalty's not ascendant yet, and I've already found it. Royalty's not willing, but he's not aggressive. So yeah, and there's Chamber as well. Right and you called it. You just called Chamber? I saw him. L like... One unknown. Reyna's unknown. Reyna's not oh, unknown. She's flashed a main. It's tough. So like right here, there's no real threat elbow right now, but unfortunately we missed the Reyna. So you actually have a sick play because our teammates have held them back on A. They're not coming out. You've got plenty of time to hop on over here, up here. And make sure you come, you can come around this corner onto this wall and you can spot this. And notice you're not exposed to elbow. Okay. And you can just spot their rotate out. And with your cracked ass aim, you can probably get one now. You get your one, you drop mid, take some fall damage, whatever. Doesn't matter. Got yours. And then we Poison we continue the mid. round. Maybe you play for two. Poison's off. But this is too passive. If they're elbow, I'd be I'd be shook. It doesn't make sense for one to be elbow yet. Yeah, they're not. I heard coming to be. Yeah, and you see how they're making full noise right now? 
We let them out of A already. Unfortunately, we missed a free kill. A little bit of free kill. And the reason why they're making all this noise is because they don't expect you still being over here. So. Going B, going B. Why aren't you peeking? Shit. Yeah, well, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Going B, going B. They're making noise. They're making noise. This means they don't think you're here. Does that make sense? If they're, if this guy was like, oh, there might be one elbow. Do you think they would full noise run out like this? No, no, probably not. Which means you have an opportunity to get close and chow. You go chow hard. You're also down a man. So it's even more justified. Are they leaving? They're leaving. Okay. I would never have thrown this Molly. Let, let's pretend the Molly hits for a sec. You want them to come out. You have a judge. Let's pretend your judge isn't pushing into the smoke. We miss that. Whatever. Even if the judge is playing close here, you don't want to molly them off and be like, oh no, don't push me. If anything, you get stunned. <laughs> I would be tempted to do this. Like just shoot Here. stunned bullets at the smoke to be like, oh no, I'm stunned. Try to make them want to push you. Be like, oh no. This is tough. Now we have a flanking judge. Yeah. And what, what are we waiting for here? So right now, in this frame, the breach is here, shooting your rays, which means you can drop this smoke and he's stuck and has to fight your stinger. You could even throw Molly, bounce off this wall. Shooting, you can bounce Molly, come out here. And this fight is great for the stinger. Given that we're playing on Breeze, what are the odds you're going to find a better fight than this? Zero percent. If you say any number higher than zero percent, you're you're lying. You know this is the best fight you're ever going to find all around for a stinger. So why aren't you jumping at it? I hope you man. Now look, look, look. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to predict the future. Remember when I said you should play half wall because they don't have uh, a wall and you'll go infinite if you get to play this angle. Look where you are right now. If they come out B, you're going infinite. Out, out, out. Oh, Yo, you're right. Viper, your mid is open. Watch out. <laughs> no, you're a fucking piece of shit, teammate. Viper, your mid's open. Watch out. Dude, they're not that fast. Anyways, look. Blasted. Vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable. And your sky should be able to get at least plus one. But yeah, there, there's nobody. The jet is way over here. This, this guy actually griefed you. This guy actually griefed you by getting paranoid in your ears. Let, let me see. This is round seven. Let's see where Jet is right now. <laughs> I, I doubt she's capable of killing us in the next five seconds. Is Infinite a JJK reference? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Jet's way over here. F our teammate got so insecure about this. Uh, they're playing mid, mid. Doors, doors, all the way up. All the way up. Chamber pillar. Mid. Yeah. Okay. So there's a few ways to fight for mid, and this is not one of them. The reason why you're not finding these fights easy is because the way you're positioning is creating the fights that are not favorable for you. The two ways I see people fight mid in high elo is way number one, we walk elbow. We fight elbow. And that's that. And maybe we consider even jumping up at this point. Fight here. Okay. Way number two is for whatever reason, we know they're not coming elbow and we come out wider and you can use this box to head glitch like this. You can come out even wider. Use this box. You can fight up here while you're crouched. You can uncrouch fight these guys and come out even wider fight over here. And at this point, when you're here, if they peek upper, it's fine because their crosser will never be ready for you over here. So you can just flick over and fight them. And all of these fights are now good for you if you're in this spot. And notice that all of the counters to angles like these are generally smokes and recon. Like if they smoke this cross, you won't you, you won't be able to fight them. If they drone up mid, then you're out in the open. No smokes, no recon. No way to fight mid to eight. You mean this fight here? This fight, this fight's pretty bad unless you have like some unique utility. Raze is actually pretty good at this fight because of her nade and Boomba, but I wouldn't recommend it for most agents. Um, the angles up here are just really good against this mid fight. Additionally, even if they do have like a Viper wall or something, let's say they got a Viper wall and they throw it perfectly mid to A and they push. You've probably been there, CG, in your games where the enemy player comes around behind you like this. 
and shoots you. You've probably this has probably happened to you, and that's a completely valid way for us to be playing against a team without this smoke as well. I got him. Fast rotating off B. I'm just giving it up completely. We play retake. Yeah. Okay. Again, they're ISO ulting towards A. Yeah. So it's an A rush. The reason why you're not willing to go for plays like this, Roll G, I'm going to explain it to you right now because it'll make it easier to go for them. Going up. Let's talk about this play I just talked about, even though they don't have smokes. Okay. What is scary about this play? It's very obvious. Somebody back here holding you. This is so scary Toxins that it stops down. most players below Immortal from ever even trying this. Because the problem is if you come through the wall and they're back there, then you can't do anything. You're just dead. And you don't like that lack of agency. But higher rated players, they understand that it's just like a, it's a numbers game. And statistically speaking, when they push through this wall, they're good for more than one. Because it's unlikely there's a dude just holding back there. And it's pretty likely there's a dude scaling up here. And you, you'll get two in that scenario. So here you get zero. Here you get two. And so even if it's 50-50, that would be a one kill average. But it's not 50-50. It's more like 80-20, which is a ton of kills like the first time you do it in the game um you can't do this like every round but we're against a team that rushes and we're not adapting teams that rush are vulnerable to aggressive lurking and you're playing viper and viper is good at aggressive lurking but you're not doing any of it this is so boring yeah you just cleared nothing i don't like this you know why i don't like this your uses should see chamber breach and then you should look up here you should see iso you know ISO ulted A, and so he's somewhere over here. So why do you even look mid with your gun? What's this for? You're not gold one anymore, Roll G. This is unacceptable. Have some confidence. You know they're not there. Uh, oh, like beach. Also coming through main, one planting. No planting. Outer. Behind you. He might be mollied. Nice. Yeah. We can get a free pick here and sometimes people push out. Okay, wall A. Whoa, wait. Wall looks weird. Like, no, not even, but just wall cub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wall A then. Are you winging a wall? You're throwing it like this? Toxins going up. That's a lot of wiggle room. There's a lot up for this? No, this one's actually quite forgiving. You just come into this corner and you make sure you're not slicing the pyramid in half just a bit to the left of the it's explained i believe in the uh the breeze guide but you want to make sure you're going a bit to the left of the pyramid so that anything that comes up here doesn't give them a spot to hide behind but you'll notice specifically I'm toxins going up. this is what we're going for we don't want people to be able to talk back here on our side of the wall because then they can peek out to fight this plant without having to take any poison damage. You're going to sell an A-fake alone? Chamber on me. Okay, if we're selling an A-fake, then you've already f***ed up right here. Way too wide. Uh, Chamber player could be holding this line like this. Playing for a one-tab. And if we're faking A, well, fuck it. We can make noise. So I would, I would dead zone some bullets on this potential threat first. And then I'm not just going to peek. I'm going to jump spot because when I'm selling a fake and I'm alone, if I die, it's Jover. The whole round is Jover. So peeking out like this into potential chamber off angle, holding with headhunter at long range against your classic is a problem. Big problem. See what I'm talking about? So I would just come up, do this, do one of these, see nothing, then maybe peek more. But like, at what point have I faked? Like the problem is you're alone. Maybe take orb. I don't know. Uh, I don't like faking alone, but you can't really win any fights here with classic unless they're, I don't know, close left, but you're not going to get into that fight because that'd be like contact. Yeah, I don't think you pulled anybody. Top mid. Good trades. Yeah, we have B. We have B. Oh. All right, two, two on A, two on A. Two doors. Jet unknown. Yeah. So if we're being rats here, this guy's got aggro right now. He's made his position known. I'm probably shift walking here, expecting rotator to fight chamber. Trades. Like you're expecting this fight. Notice how you're peeking yep. it. We have B. We have B. But you peek it so quickly. Look where Reyna's already turning. Notice she's turning this way. And you see this guy who's shooting kind of at you. Notice what they're actually shooting at. They're shooting at Chamber because ISO was minimap refragging the Reyna. Neither of them had any idea that you were here. But now they do because we're so fast. Trades. 
Yo, we have B, we have B. Alright, two, two on eight. I would have tried to shift walk up close, and then I maybe even would have been able to get up close like this. Walls up, it. You're aiming at body height. Yo, we have all of the door. Oh, I got stunned. I'm dropping more pieces. I think we just slow it down for 10 seconds. Just wait for my. Okay. Man, Beast IGL. Right, so One is on double eight. door. Yo, there's two A. There's a little B. Rena dead A. Yeah, yeah, we go A. We go A. Back side. No yeah, this is really good. Uh, so, what I'm what I'm really upset about, Rolgy, is the fact that you're not mentioning their composition when you're calling. The reason why attack is going so easily for us right now is because they have no Viper and no Cypher. They can't control the chokes. They don't have recons, so they can't collect mid information. Nice. Yeah. So we're owning these dudes because of course we are. Because look at their composition. Rena er, on A. She knows it's a fake now. You they know. So yeah. We can... Breach backside. Rena tunnel. Yeah, this is what I was worried about on your oh, last oh, oh, solo dead. fake. Like, why are we faking alone? This doesn't make sense, dude. Who the hell fakes with just one dude and the one dude being Viper? It makes no sense, Roll G. The rounds where your calls are just questionable are the only rounds that are in jeopardy right now. If you're alone A main in that formation, shouldn't it be B fake and you creep up A main? You listen for them rotating off, you take the space and call your team back A. Yeah, it should be that. One's out, one's out, one's out. I think on the right, I'm pretty sure I heard a footstep. I, I can hit, I can hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. First of all, I wouldn't use this orb. This orb is like your lurking mid orb. A mid to A split, you just come to this door and you throw the wall, and that wall gives you the cross, and you can go a lot faster. You're too slow with this orb. One's out, one's out, one's out. Way too slow. Basically, they say one's out, so why the f don't we just bounce on Molly? Shorty, could have shorty. Last time she faded. Yeah, you're aiming way too low. Head height is gonna be like here. Oh. Case in point. Has a shorty. Could could have shorty. Could have shorty. Last time she faded like this, she had a shorty. One top mid, top mid. Am I fucking bad? Rina has Close. a shorty break. That's that's definitely a shorty. Dead. Okay, it's not a shorty. It was a classic, but also like King Molly here, then dude. Turn around. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. This this is the right time for the orb, um, because now we're like lurking mid, controlling, and this way we get to hold the wall, so we can come over to wall for our teams A or B. You're aiming too low again. Oh, did she crouch peek? You're a beast. Oh, you're such a beast. Oh, nice. Shit on. Eyes are pushing elbow. Expected the op. Okay, then you shouldn't be holding this. <laughs> if you think that this is the line the op is peaking is holding the best way to fight an op yes but it's not something that i hunt down i'm not like oh bet let me find that op and hold them no 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 no. that's still it's still bad for you one back side jump up jump up yeah they can't scale your ult even though your teammates are all dying you're chilling nice. Damn, I'm this guy's down, hitting shots. Down. Where'd this yeah, come from? Where'd this come from? Well, he's a shooter. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, no, I'm are we... we're, we're just going to win on attack, aren't we? Because their, their comp is just ass. You're chilling, though. You're actually chilling. One tunnel, one tunnel. Let me just reset here. I'm full flash, that's why I help you. Oh, I got full flash, fucking, fucking. Breach, nest, one tunnel. You just... Surely you don't think this is head height. Yo, two, one here, one here. I don't max in. One saw me tunnel, chamber. Chamber's dead. Oh, was nest. Yo, B is low. Wait, yeah, B is weak right now. We can go B. Yeah, I'm coming B, man. Dude, dude. I'm just mad, Rolgy. That you're not five heading these kids you know breach was nest he's insecure you're gonna wall up b they're all gonna rotate b you can just end a because they got no recon it's playing breeze yeah doors one ah. well, you're crazy breach breach on a you're actually Jell crazy no yeah mid joe's mid 
Oh, yo, last one, 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 I think we just play main. We play it safe. It's DV1. Could be playing Sky, I'll join you. Oh, cannon. Flank. 88. Uh, I'm joining you. No, 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 uh, I'm joining you, Rena. Just nah. Play on sight. She nah. has to break this crossfire here. Just coming. double hold it. Nice. Dude, do you think I hate that Philippe fight so much where I never win it? Oh, you're not wrong. But this isn't a fight. It's a trade. They're different. Agreed. If we're dead on fighting this dude, this is a very good fight for this guy. But this guy's looking here, shooting at an elbow guy. And so now all of a sudden it doesn't matter because you just shoot them. Let me get to so we have, we have full A main control so far. Oh, jump up, do it. Should I make it's actually not bad here. Not yet, not yet. I made a footstep in back. Hold back to A in five seconds. Jump up. Ah. Okay, one back side now. What is that wall? Oh, oh I'm bad. I'm popping back side. Orange, orange. Do it right upstairs, you beast. No. Oh, I'm popping. Got no poison. Okay. So first of all, our wall should be back here. I think the line is okay. It's hard to tell. The the mid to A wall is explained to my breeze guy, but it needs to give you a line that allows you to jump upstairs over here without being spotted. And that's the play that you need to go for here. That's just how you play around this wall. Orange, orange. Wall down. I can't tell with your wall. Breach and jet back side. I don't think we're gonna get to tell because I think we're gonna fight them. Oh, uh, jet has an op, yeah? Jet was opping orange, yeah. Like I would wall up here and try to jump up. Chamber bridge. Like right now. Walls up now. Yep, and now you walk forward no, and you jump up. Do you see the play? Right now, assuming your wall is correct and it covers your stairs jump up, you hop upstairs here. It's so good. Now, but hush immortal three players in chat. We're going to be like actually huge. I expect that every day. And I kill Rolji. Because yeah, you would. But that's that's talking like meta game. Like, yeah, Immortal 3 and up, you start getting used to players playing like correct Valorant and then deviating makes sense. But right here, it's just the play. You throw in this wall, you jump up, you peek through it. They won't be looking at you, man, especially on Diamond. Boom, 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 boom. Let me boot up. Let me boot up, Breeze. To show you the wall I'm talking about, though. You need to start throwing your util more accurately. The best Vipers are the ones who can lurk aggressively, okay? Royalty, don't forget that. You have to be willing to die on lurk, hunting for timings. You just have to be willing to die. You've got a limit test. Icebox is coming back into rotation, Royalty, and that is going to be your make or break map, okay? Icebox is Viper's most aggressive lurk map. I think Icebox is the controller gap map. Like it's coming back and that's the map where you can have on God like a 90 plus percent win rate as a spokesman below Immortal. The impact, the outcome of every round. So the wall we were looking for chat, you walk into this door and then you cut the yellow box in half yeah. along this diagonal. just like that. And now you'll notice when I wall up, up. it blocks this. I can jump up here. Oop. I can peek this way or this way. Uh, but this is the wall and it specifically has to come up in this manner. Yeah. Okay. Roll G. I've got homework for you, dude. Good, 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 good. Focus points. General. Less blue bars in fights. Into practice or in DM. Okay. And now onto the goods. Before or we'll say while in loading screen. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Wall in queue. Random.org. Three numbers between one and 12. Get more aggressive than you are comfortable with on these rounds on attack and defense. So, demonstration. Eight, five, nine. Alt tab back in. Now, on the eighth round, sorry, the fifth round, the eighth round, and the ninth round of attack and defense, not even within control push your pacing limit test the lurk don't make noise unless you think you can you don't want to be heard okay i'm looking for aggressive lurking plays not aggressive aggression plays we are trying to lurk do, do, do. so our goal is not to be heard but to also be as fast as possible do, 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 do. 
Got it. The only way to get comfortable with this is to limit test and force ourselves into doing it. So this will be very uncomfortable. And now while loading in, do, 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 do. look at the enemy team composition. You missed so many weaknesses in your breeze VOD that it was driving me insane. <laughs> Inserting myself into the Nats positions. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm talking about? Nats is really good at this. He's really, really, really good at this. And Icebox is coming. Winter is coming. And when Icebox comes, there is a play that will be explained in my Icebox guide where you throw the orb from here and you knife out into the orb at a pacing where this recon won't reveal you. And then you just peek insta dry through your smoke quietly. And this play is the difference between a Viper who's going to carry their team on Icebox and a Viper who's not going to carry their team. Vipers who can go for this play confidently, and sometimes you peek under tube as well, they're they're way different on this map. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. Before the Radiant players in chat talk about the how Sova can actually land his dart here. I know, I know, but we're talking. Okay, it, it'll be in my Icebox guide. We'll be talking about all of the ways you can play around this type of stuff. But anyways, it's the Viper Gap map. Hey, Wuhu Jin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier three subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.